Invasive species and fire are the biggest threat to sagebrush ecosystems in the Great Basin. At the Bureau of Land Management, Winnemucca District, we're at ground zero in this struggle. Within the Winnemucca District and sort of the adjacent BLM districts, I think since 1999, there have been 26 fires, over 100,000 acres. So we've been involved in a big planning process across multiple jurisdictional boundaries to help identify priority areas for restoration treatments of sagebrush. We'll do large scale herbicide application across large areas to reduce the prevalence of cheatgrass and Medusa head rye across the landscape. And then we'll follow that up with seeding of native perennial grasses. And once those grasses become established, they can then compete with the cheatgrass, hopefully reduce its uh, prevalence, which also reduces fuel loading and fuel continuity, and hopefully to try to stop this uh, cheatgrass fire cycle from further destroying the, the sagebrush ecosystem. So we created a model using fire history map to find areas of overlapping fires where we could focus our restoration efforts to get the best bang for our buck. This is the site of the 2007 Thomas fire, uh, which actually originated about eight miles to the south of here, uh, burned through this canyon, and then back to the north toward Winnemucca, uh, removing about 16,000 acres of habitat for greater sage grouse. To restore this area, we first airily seeded the canyon with sagebrush and some perennial grasses and forbs. And then later, we hand planted sagebrush seedlings across a, a wider area to jumpstart succession of sagebrush. This year, we planted 128,000 seedlings uh, across a couple thousand acres. They do it all by hand. Uh, they carry tree bags with them full of sagebrush seedlings and a hand tool called a hoedad. Dig a hole, stick a bare root seedling into the ground, push it back and then keep going. Part of the reason we hand plant seedlings is that we can get a higher survival rate of sagebrush or a better establishment um, over time in some areas, especially south facing slopes and harsher conditions. On its own, um, sagebrush can take 50 to 100 years to reoccupy a burned area. Um, by hand planting across areas, we're accelerating that succession by providing a seed source um, essentially throughout the burned, the burned area for it to recolonize much faster. Um, it still will take several decades, uh, 10 to 20 years for it to recover, but it's better than 50 to 100. We also focus on hazardous fuels projects, fuel breaks across uh, really large landscapes to help uh, protect the habitat that um, is both intact and then that that we're trying to restore. One of the main tools we use on the Winnemucca District uh, to protect and conserve sagegrass habitat are the highway fuel breaks, uh, which are these mineral soil um, fuel breaks constructed with a tractor and a disc that uh, parallel uh, our major highways. These fuel breaks are intended to slow the growth of the fire, essentially creating a, a flanking type fire um, rather than a head fire and give crews resources time to respond, arrive and uh, suppress the fire at a much smaller size. It keeps the fires at say 10 to a quarter acre rather than a 10, 100, 1000 or even a 10,000 acre fire in some instances. In addition to mineral soil fuel breaks, we also use native species fuel breaks where we plant perennials such as Sandberg bluegrass, squirrel tail, and thick spike wheatgrass. These fire breaks compete better with cheatgrass, less fuel to burn, and are better for wildlife. On the Winnemucca district, on average, uh, roughly half of our fires are human caused. Some years we see as few as two roadside fires, some years we see as many as uh, 10 or more roadside fires, and in the majority of those instances, the roadside fuel breaks are highly effective. Types of fires we see can vary from cars with mechanical problems, chains dragging, bearings, brakes, on occasion cigarettes, um, those types of things. This particular fire was caused by a vehicle with mechanical issues. Uh, the vehicle pulled over to the shoulder of the road. Uh, the fire then spread from the vehicle to the vegetation. Uh, the fire impacted the fuel brake. The fuel brake held and allowed uh, fire resources enough time to respond and, and suppress the fire at a quarter of an acre. If it had gotten out of control, um, it could have spread into one of the most heavily populated sage grouse habitats in northwestern Nevada. This has been a collaborative effort between both federal agencies, uh, state agencies, all the way down to private citizens, uh, in an effort to restore those missing ecological components of the sagebrush steppe, uh, perennial bunch grasses, um, forbs for pollinators, sagebrush for both the people that use this ecosystem and the wildlife that depend on it.